The many health benefits of exercising during your first trimester have been well documented. You'll sleep better, improve your mood, and reduce stress. Keep weight off before and after delivery, lower the likelihood of a cesarean section and premature birth, and reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes for your baby. These five types of workouts are perfect for your first trimester and will help you maintain overall health while keeping you and your baby safe. Number 1. Walking and running. These two activities are some of the best cardiovascular workouts for pregnant women. All you need is a comfortable pair of supportive shoes and you'll be on your way to building endurance and strengthening your heart. Aim for a moderate increase in your heart rate. No sprints necessary and start at a comfortable pace before gradually increasing your stride. Number 2. Swimming Touted as one of the safest full body exercises for pregnant women, swimming combines cardiovascular benefits with muscle building for arms and legs. Moreover, swimming may reduce swelling in your hands, ankles, and feet, and it is an excellent low impact workout for women experiencing lower back pain. Number 3. Stationary Cycling or Spinning if you're already comfortable on a bicycle, you are fine to continue riding it during your first trimester. However, beginning with your second trimester, you should switch to a stationary bike at home or in a spinning class to avoid the risk of falling. The same advice applies to other exercises that might involve contact like basketball, soccer, horseback riding, surfing, gymnastics, skiing, or mountain biking. Number 4. Yoga Many moms-to-be love yoga for its ability to tone muscle and improve flexibility without placing stress on tender joints. Skip the Bikram and hot yoga classes. The pregnant body cannot disperse heat as effectively. And for peak heart health, mix in a light jog or a swimming session once or twice a week. Avoid any poses that ask you to lie on your back, which will put pressure on your vena cava and could cause you to feel short of breath, dizzy, and nauseated. Number 5. Pilates A once-per-week Pilates workout can develop and challenge core strength, improve your balance, and mitigate that pesky lower back pain. As with yoga poses, you'll want to avoid any Pilates moves that have you lying on your back and be mindful not to overexert yourself particularly with stomach stretches. Even if you don't take formal Pilates or yoga classes, stretching for several minutes in conjunction with cardiovascular exercises is essential for a complete workout.